I got married to the street, should have signed a free. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Luis Castillo. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Luis Castillo, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old, multiple All-Star appearances, traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. You think about that triple-digit fastball, but the changeup is the thing that stands out. Let's take a look at Terry Francona's lineup for the Guardians. Now, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. 3-2. This one chopped up the middle. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Next is the designated hitter, Larry Dolby. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one oh. missed. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. So now the Mariners offense gets to go to work for the first time. We've got no score. You're dialed into the show. Back in Seattle. And today on the hill, Satchel Page power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them and now the rookie second baseman lee lynn next one off the plate inside and a count two and one On the ground to the left. Ramirez sends it to first. One up, one down. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He was hitless at four at bats yesterday.
the 3-2 the is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. And at first, Edgar. and up next for Seattle, Edgar oh, Martinez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Satchel comes to the plate. Pitch Go. misses. And that's ball two. It's a good take. And now it's three and two. Next offering is foul back. Here's Satchel with the payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've really got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Junior. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners. Ken Griffey Jr. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. Next pitch misses way outside. Hernandez leads off first with two down to the inning. That's towards center. Sizemore has this one sized up. And that will end the inning. Mariners leave one. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. Leading and now the first the baseman, guard. Jim Tomey. The first baseman is number 25. Jim, Jim Tomey. And here it comes. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. And that's in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Kicks and fires. Got him. One gone here. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. He's in there. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. One down. And now the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. And another ball. And the right-handers 3-1. This to third. Gathers and throws to first. And now two gone. That is that the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Right-hander kicks deals. Mike Zunino in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. The 3-1. And he walked him. Batting it. 
the catcher. Yeah. Mike. Here's Mike Zanino. Zanino. Good oh, plate boy. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So two down. Here's Andres Jimenez. And one and two. One, two. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Three left for the Guardians. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. And now for Seattle, Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger. And now two and one. Satchel into his motion. The long windup turns on the rubber, kicks and fires. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Page winds and fires. And now the count filled up three and two. Satchel kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping <laughs> high 90s, you'll get away with the some of those. More margin for yeah. error. You know, the fastball has become Whoa. such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And now Cal Raleigh. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. The next offering misses. And the count's even at two. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Swings and misses, struck him out. Batting seven. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Oh. And now two balls and a strike. The pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Sizemore in position. Squeezes it. And that is that. Mariners are down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back at the play. Grady Sizemore. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. 
Next well, offering upstairs. Oh. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. One, and now it's two. even up. Two, two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch now, out when they're on the mound the because way. if they get on, just the distraction yeah. that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Out number three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one a little bit high. Two balls, one strike. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. And a two two. And now oh, it's yeah. filled up. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Three, two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. fly ball down the left field line pulls it in on the run and there's one down batting none no left field and stepping in for the Mariners Julio Rodriguez here's a 1-1 Inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Late swing, fouled off. And there's a ball. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now it's the second baseman, Lee Lynn. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. One fouled off, two and two. The other way, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. And now Teoscar Hernandez. That one just misses. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And now is the Mariners' DH, Edgar Martinez. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Fires to the plate, and they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now it's going to be Ken Griffey Jr. 0 for 1 so far. Here comes a pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park. On to the fourth. And yeah, the batter now, the Jim Tomey. Number 25, Jim the pitch. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. That's a ball. That one okay. missed. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Got him swinging. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still the late on it. You rarely see we'll that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Here's Jose Ramirez. Doubled his first time up. The 3-1. There's a swing and a miss. Payoff pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already and up next for Cleveland Oscar Gonzalez he's over one the one one that one in there across the letters Now fly ball to right center. Griffey on his horse. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ahmed Rosario. He reached out a walk his first time. The 1-1. Runner takes off. 
Cut on and miss. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Bottom of the fourth, and now for Seattle, Kyle Seeger. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. The wind and the pitch. You won. Well, these Mariners did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the Three best balls. news yet for one this side. offense. Left hand batter waits. And that one in the air center field. Sizemore under it, and there's one down. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before now, offense does any catcher. damage, and that Cal. might be the case today. Here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. He's 0 for 1. And that one hammered. This one's got a chance. And forget it. His first homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 2-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's the first baseman, Ty France. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sizemore settles under it. Two down. The batter, the batter number, number three. three. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. 0 for 1 with a flyer. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Not Good close one. with that one. And a count two and one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Out to short. Rosario tosses the first. That is the inning. Solo Blast adds to the Seattle lead. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the ballpark. Now, here is Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed Rosario. The 3 1. You know, these Guardians showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far, he's been really effective in this one. Got it by him for the K. 
Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now Mike Zunino. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's the second now baseman, bad. Andres second Jimenez. Baseman. He struck Long out way swinging way. at his first at bat. Ball to strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Here's a one two. Got him looking. And that is that. The Guardians go down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Cal Quantrill. Pretty tight right, game, please, so please. they're looking for quality now, pitches out of him right here. here. Got to do his best Number to keep the score seven. right where now, it is. Quantrill. Julio Rodriguez Lady getting go. ready to hit. Here. Struck out swinging no his first time. Julio Rodriguez. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 3-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. And stepping in is the speedy Lee Lin. Next offering misses, ball two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Quattro back to work. Just oh, missed. No. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Hard ground ball base knock. Two consecutive base hits for these guys now here. Right, Got the top right, of the right, ball right, a little bit, but not yeah, much. Yeah, that was hit pretty hard through the infield, right, so yeah, yeah. I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Teoscar Hernandez up next for the Mariners. Quattro back to work. Here goes the runner. One ball. Zanino One ball. throw. Got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. That hits the dirt, and the count is even two and two. Got him. And there are two down. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate now, right now. The Just the disconnected the from Edgar. head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in, so... Hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. 
Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, and he'll pull into second safely. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And it's scoring position with two away. And up next for Seattle, Ken Griffey Jr. The pitch. Good eye right there. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. That one's in there, and it's three and two. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Martinez around third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Top six, stepping up for the Guardians, Grady Sizemore. Sizemore tries to check his swing. Now a look to third, and he went around. Rule the swing. And a pitch. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. Cold strike right there. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Now one out to right. Hernandez makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now bad. The designated hitter, Larry. Larry. Now it's the Dolby. DH, Larry Dolby. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Fouls one off, two and two. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Ball. Next pitch misses, and that's ball oh, yeah. three. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Sneaks through, base hit, and that extends the inning. The first base is number 25. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. So digging in, Jim Tomey, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Left-hand hitter waits. No, that's yeah, ball. and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. The 2-1. Outside, ball. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six and stepping in for the Mariners, Kyle Seeger. Seeger. Good job to fight that one off. Here's a two-two. Now to short. Not in time, he legs it out. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He's already homered in this game. The 1-1. And a foul ball left side. Well, these Mariners putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Quattro ahead, one and two. Next Ball offering two. misses down and away. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Got him. One out. Well, big power guy right there and generating no, no, so big, much big, bat no, speed. No, it's hard three. to bring that to no. a halt once you've committed. Four. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Ty France will hit next. The pitch. That misses. Two and one. Seeger stands at first with one out. He's going, he's and going. there he goes. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two down. Man at first, J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. Crawford. Right-handed reliever. In the air, left field. Quan settles underneath it. Makes the catch, inning over. One left for Seattle, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. New pitcher for the Mariners, Penn Murphy. He's making his second appearance of the season. Number 56, Penn Murphy. Now it's Jose Ramirez. For the Guardian, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. There's a strike at the knees. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Seeger sizes this one up, and there's one down. Now that the right field, Oscar, Oscar Gonzalez. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. And a 1-1. Swings through that one, one for two. strike two. Action in the pen down there. Paul Seawald preparing to come on if needed.
And a 1-2. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. 2-2 Two -two now. Ground ball up the middle. And he's safe at first. Tough play up the middle, and everything needed to be right there. Feel that, get a strong throw off to first base, and I think the speed going up the line had something to do with it as well. One gone runner at first. Ahmed Rosario digs in now. A strikeout and a walk. Next one misses. And it's two and one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. France makes the catch. That's out number two. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Paul Seawall takes over on the mound. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Mike Zunino now at the plate. Here's a one-to-one. One. one ball, two strikes. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. One left for the Guardians. They trail in this one, three-nothing. Welcome back. Set for the last Julio. half of the seventh. And now, Julio no, Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. The two one. And that one fouled off. Riding to the plate. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. Full count. That one Full misses. Four. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. The second base. Lee Lynn Lee. up next for the Mariners. Lee. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. And it stays fair. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Now the number two hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. That misses the zone. And yeah, that's ball two. This ball's chopped on the ground. Rosario in plenty of time to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Aaron Savali on a pitch out of the pen here. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance.
And next is the designated hitter, Edgar Martinez. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. So now one and two. One, two. Ground ball left side. Ramirez sends out. it to first. And Martinez is out. Deceptive no, slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Griffey. So now it's the Mariner Junior. cleanup hitter. Ken Griffey Jr. One for three. Lynn on its second with two down. That one ripped. Sizemore makes the catch. And that is that. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mariners four and the Guardians nothing. Back in Seattle, now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. On the ground to third. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now batting the center fielder, Grady Sizemore. Here's the center fielder, Grady Sizemore. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Well struck right field. Hernandez ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up now enough to really drive it. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. And that oh. one almost got him. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Guardians fail to score. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom of the eighth. And here is Kyle Seager. 1-1 now. That one fouled off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, that was the cutter no, down no, and no, in no. right Catch there. Him. And typically, yeah. if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, Whoa. if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely no, no, an individual no, no. performance you want to flush. No. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. The 1-1. One -one. And that's oh. downstairs and outside. Ah. 
And there's a strike. Bounce to the left side. What a stop. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. Nobody left for Seattle. They lead 4-0. Righty reliever out of the pen, Trevor Gott. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Gott. Now it's the Guardians' DH, Larry Dolby. The designated hitter here, Larry Dolby. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pretty nasty cutter right there, and you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days, and you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. Jim Tomey digs in for the Guardians. Kicks and deals. Check swing, no appeal. Tried to check his swing there, appeal to third, and yes, he offered at it. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Next offering is down low. And that's outside. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. Two down, nobody on. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Next pitch oh. off the play, and it's two and one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. They bring a young arm out of the bullpen in this spot, Andres Munoz. A chance at his first save of the year. First and second, two down. And now, Ahmed Rosario. Two outs. That's in there. The one, two. Right through there. Got it. And that is the ball game. Well, a four pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
our final line score team. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For Cleveland, no runs. Five hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Thank <laughs> you.